Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Wind Lacquer. In today's video, I am finally swatching the OPI Barbie collection. <laughs> I'm only a little bit late, but I got this collection back when I got, oh, what was it? I think the Zodiac collection. I got them at the same time. If it wasn't the Zodiac collection, it was something else OPI. And I didn't even take a look at the Barbie collection. I just saw that it was releasing, that it was brand new and snatched it up. You might be seeing double on a few of these because it turns out that this is not a standard collection of 12 polishes. It is a collection of nine polishes. Buying the way that I did, I did end up with like a store display. So I did end up with some duplicates. But in any case, I did finally get these swatched to share with you guys. This is just gonna be my usual sort of haul style video where I have them swatched already. But the first polish, from the collection is this one called Bon Voyage to Reality and this one is a soft like off-white pink. It is rather interesting, maybe not the most exciting color, definitely doesn't remind me of Barbie necessarily, but here it is in two coats with a glossy top coat. It does sort of remind me of one of those colors that I think came out in the Hello Kitty collection a few years ago that was similar to this in tone, sort of a very, very light off-white pink. And people did seem to really like that one. Um, I'm curious how I will like this because it isn't really a shade that I would have picked out for myself, but it was a nice formula. That is it in just two coats. So that first one was Bon Voyage to Reality. The second one is a glitter bomb called Every Night is Girls Night. And this one is a beautiful like champagne shimmer with a bunch of silver hollow glitter. This one is definitely a party in a bottle. Here it is in two coats with a glossy top coat. Now this one does still have a little bit of texture. So because it is a glitter bomb, I would probably suggest wearing this with a glitter smoother and then a glossy top coat, but very pretty color here. I think this has topper possibilities. You are going to sort of dull down the polish that you wear this over though because it does have that champagne-ish shimmer in there and it is jam-packed with the glitter but I am curious to see how this one plays over other colors. I think it could add a nice wash of some of those gorgeous glitters. That second polish was Every Night is Girls Night. Next up in the collection is a light pink and this one is Best Day Ever. It is a shimmer base full of iridescent glitters. So you can see those glitters beautifully there in the bottle. I think there's a couple of different sizes too. So here's how it looks in two coats with a glossy top coat. This is another one though that because it has so much glitter, you might want a glitter smoother to sort of even things out a little bit. I will say on this one that shimmer almost comes off a little pearly, which I thought was interesting. Not necessarily a favorite when you mix it with glitters. The glitters are of course very pretty but I'm just not too sure about the combo for myself. I'm, I'll have to play around with that one and see if maybe a matte top coat looks good on it or how it looks, but you see there, see that sort of a glisten that you're getting? That to me is sort of pearl essent. I don't know about the, the mix of that one, but that one was best day ever. The next polish is Feel the Magic, and this one is a pink cream in sort of a like dusty Pepto-Bismol. Here's how it looks on the nail in two coats. And I will say once it's swatched, it's a lot brighter <laughs> than I feel like it was in the bottle. I don't know if maybe my bottle settled a little bit or if it just ends up drying a bit brighter, but this is much more of a pink that I associate with Barbie. It's bright and happy and poppy. It is a very pretty pink. So that one was Feel the Magic. And another one that I did end up with two of is this one called Welcome to Barbie Land. And this is another shimmer formula that does have some larger particles in there. I think those might be a micro flaky. This one is a darker, almost watermelon pink. And here's how it looks in two coats with a glossy top coat. This one I will say I do like the formulation of much better than the soft champagne pink. This one has a better formula in my opinion, and it could be because of the type of shimmer used. This one I feel does not come off as a pearl. It is definitely a beautiful shimmer base, so that is really pretty. So that one was Welcome to Barbie Land. Another that I have two of is this last pink, and this one is called Hi Barbie, and this is a beautiful Barbie pink. So this is actually very similar to how the first one swatched, except darker. And when this one dries, it dries to an even darker shade of pink. So this one is almost, if you were to mix a Barbie pink with a neon pink, it has that rich vibrancy of a neon, but it's definitely not a neon. It's just a very vibrant shade of pink. This one does have a really nice formula in just these two coats. 
So that last pink was Hi Barbie. Now we're getting into some non-pink polishes. The first one is this limey green called Hi Ken. And I thought that this was a really odd choice for a Barbie collection. Let me know if it makes sense given the movie because I have not seen the movie. But it's sort of a mix between a green and a yellow. Here it is on the nail in two coats with a glossy top coat. I feel like on camera this is coming off as like a highlighter yellow, but there is definitely a green lean. But another great two coat formula, I've got to say that. So that one was Hi Ken. And then lastly, we have two blues. The first one is another shimmer, and this is Yay Space. Now this one is better formulated, I feel, than that champagne-y pink. This one is a glisteny light blue. It does have some larger particles in there as well. Here's how it looks in two coats with a glossy top coat. This one actually turns out really nice. It is on the sheer side. As you can see, you can still see my finger underneath it, but this one has top possibilities. So you might be able to play around with this. Ooh, actually this over Hiken could be rather interesting. We might have to try that out here. Hang on. All right, so I've swatched a few of the colors that we will see this one over, but yeah, this one I think could look really interesting over Hiken. So we'll try that out here in a minute. So that was two coats of EA Space. And then the last polish in the collection is another blue, and this one is called My Job is Beach. And this one is a light blue, like sky blue cream. And here it is in two coats with a glossy top coat. This one I will say again is kind of an odd choice for a Barbie collection in my opinion, but that could just be me. It, it's another one of those kind of basic colors to me, so it's just not very exciting. But again, the formula on this was very nice. It is a good two coat formula. So that last one in the Barbie movie collection is My Job is Beach. So I went ahead and topped three different colors in Yay Space. From left to right, we have Feel the Magic. The yellow is High Ken, and the blue was My Job is Beach. And those, I think, turned out really beautifully. Especially, well, I was going to say especially the blue, but I think all three of them are really gorgeous. You get that blue shimmer against that very interesting limey, greeny yellow color of high ken and it really does amp up that light sky blue to more of like a cinderella blue and i love it over the pink i think that might be my favorite so there we have it that was the opi barbie movie collection let me know what your thoughts were i would say this was not one i would have picked up if i wasn't going to be swatching it to be perfectly frank um it's just not that exciting. I think for a Barbie collection, I would have loved some really fun pinks. Like they did it here and here a little bit, but then we got two basic creams, which I feel, come on, we've had pinks in creams from every collection. When you're doing Barbie, let's do something actually fun and exciting. And I really don't understand these color choices here, the blues and this color specifically. I also didn't really enjoy this either specifically if we're talking a barbie collection it just didn't make sense to me like i think of barbie as bright and bubbly pink so i just felt for myself that it was a little bit of a missed opportunity for them to do some really fun outside of the box pinks that maybe they haven't done before instead of two kind of two and a half creamy colors that we've already had before and then some oddball shades that again aren't really doing much for me <laughs> at this point the collection has been out for a few months so i'm sure people have had a chance to sit with it and digest with it and of course watch the movie which again i have not done at this point but yeah let me know if it's good let me know if i should watch it and again let me know what you thought of the opi collection i think overall thoughts are the, the formulas especially on the creams were good i mean that's to be expected. Most of the time, OPI can hit creams out of the park. I just feel like we could have done a little bit more exciting things for a theme like this. <laughs> but I think we'll wrap it up there. Let me know what you thought. If you're new, make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And I will see you in that next one.